All right, it's time for our honesty box. Hey, and apparently yeah, we yeah. have a revisitor. Okay. Um, I I think this is what we called her, but just because I feel like it, let's give her a new pseudonym. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's call her mm, Lisa Turtle. Lisa Turtle. I love it. Um, apparently she was on our episode with Antoinette and Shanti. That was our oh, honesty oh, box that week. Very where nice. Where she wrote in about her stepdad. Um, she gave us a brief update, but that's not what this honesty box is about. But I will bring it to you if you have a good memory. Uh, she said, with my dad, things are still the same. I spoke to him briefly on Father's Day, and that was awkward. Since then, we've had our text conversations that went something like, hi, sweetie, miss you, been busy moving, but I think about you always, love you. When I tell you that I... Uh, when I tell you that I won't know anything about him unless my mom tells me, it's just that. I'm over it and have decided not to worry about our relationship any longer. Well, you know, sometimes, Lisa Turtle, sometimes we can't continue to stress ourselves if somebody else is not putting in work. So I that hope part. that, you know, that, that I hope that that is working out for you. Now, here's where we get to the real honesty. But here's my <coughs> other dilemma, me. if we'll call it that. My boyfriend of almost two years just recently mentioned that his 17-year-old sister was thinking about moving stateside um, from, from the Caribbean to attend college close to him. From what he's told me so far, it seems like the conversations between his mother's sister and him are ongoing but tentative. Aside from this, he and I are cultivating our relationship and going to couples counseling to attend to our needs. We will be moving back in together. We moved apart because the relationship had turned sour, and now I have looked. Uh, I have to look forward to a stranger possibly living with us. Mm. I'm accepting of the idea, but I'm also a little apprehensive of it as well, since I've literally had zero interaction with his sister. To me, she's too fast, and he's quick to defend her by saying she's just at that age. My boyfriend barely knows his sister as well, since he's been stateside for the past six years. Nonetheless, he's a family man. I would appreciate it if I would be included in the conversation that he has with his family if the decision is made final, but I may be too anxious. This is weird to me because I'll have to relearn to share my space with not just one, but two people. A thousand and one things are running through my mind as far as what I should and shouldn't be concerned with regarding this change. How would you ladies react if you were in my shoes? And that is from Lisa Turtle. Well, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little torn because, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm hesitant to tell, to tell, to tell you, Lisa Turtle, that you're going to be able to, um, that you're going to be able to, uh, the, I'm gonna say it like this: sibling relationships are interesting and special, mm -hmm. and so I don't know that you, as a partner, have that much of a say. And I don't know. I'll let Jade yeah. weigh in, right? And I, I mean, there's a lot of dynamics at play here. The sister, they haven't seen each other for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if you know. She I don't know. They're not super close, um, but they're not. They're not. But he's a family person. He's very much a family person. Right. So I, I just feel like you know you've never observed them together, brother yeah. sister dynamic, and so a lot of what you are speculating about his relationship with his sister is just that speculation, and I think that it's fair for you to. To uh, well, I just I don't know. For me, it's like you know, as as a sister, I would. I guess maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong because I heard I listen to this from the perspective of a sister, mm -hmm. like, no, and I'm fair. and I'm thinking about what it would look like for my brother's partner mm -hmm. to want to be involved in in conversations between my brother and I. Now, I acknowledge that if I'm going to be living as a sister with my brother and his partner, mm -hmm. then there will be some conversations that need to be had by the three of us. Mm -hmm. 
but I don't know how I would take to my brother's partner feeling entitled to all the conversations between my brother and I. Yeah. Especially I, given yeah. the circumstances. And that's what I... Let me see. Let me go back to this. So... Oh, oh. Here we go. She, okay, so she says she wants to be included in the conversation that he has with his family if the decision is made final. Um... Because I agree with you that if we're if we're in the like preliminary conversations mm-hmm. of you know what options are, mm-hmm. that's I would leave that to his family. Honestly, right? You know there have been things with Tristan's family that um, when they asked me my opinion, I offered it. But then there are other times where I'm like, you know what? I'm going to step back. Right. Not because I'm not a part of this family, but because there is another dynamic that you right. all had before I was here. Right. And I have to acknowledge that. Right. Now, I also am blessed enough to have in-laws that recognize that that is your house and your mm-hmm. household. And so we don't want to overstep in that way either. So we have a really nice dynamic in that way. But when it comes to... Um, matters, especially like sibling matters, mm-hmm. I really stay out of that a lot, unless it's going to affect my household. Now, here's the thing about her moving in with you. You all are just now moving back in together. Mm-hmm. It, I don't even think, I'm not one of those people that's like, well, if you're not married, then you don't have a say. That's not true, because there are people who are partnered, and you all are dedicated and committed to one another, and when you share a household, you both deserve to be considered in the decision making. Mm-hmm. This situation is a little complicated if I'm going to be honest with you. I have many feelings here because you're just now like, you all are just now kind of getting back to a good place. Right. And in, the, in, in that decision, you all have decided to, to cohabitate again together. Mm-hmm. Um, this is his sister of forever. And so... If she needs to come this way to do what she needs to do and her option is to stay with her brother, I do think that you all should all sit down as it pertains to how the household should go, you know, just so that there is cohesive and there's peace and ease. But I I, I, I would caution you to try to be too involved mm. um, or against trying to be too in, and kind of giving them space as a family to kind of figure <clears throat> some things out. And that doesn't mean that you don't have a say if this is your home. Agreed. Let's be very clear. I'm not saying that. But there there are times when we have to, even if even if we, our ego flares up and we are really like, but I deserve, and yeah, you do, but some, sometimes stuff is nuanced and there's a lot right. of gray areas and it's not the way that we think it should be or it's going right. to be like that. And that's just what it is. I think that it's important to remain mindful of the fact that you are in relationship with your like you are you are you are in relationship with with him your partner and his obligation is to you and his mm-hmm. family and he has to ne- negotiate those obligations and we have to trust that he can can do that i do think that it is fair for you to have conversations with him about what you would like and prefer um and and would appreciate and i think if there are some some ways that or things that need to be negotiated between the two of you, then that is one thing. There are ways that you can ask to to be supported by him through Mm -hmm. this. But I just would, like Jay said, caution you against sort of entering the family dynamic. um, Just a little prematurely. Yeah, because I feel like right now he's kind of your proxy. And this is like, you know... And y'all are and this, a little, y- y'all, y- y'all, y'all just, this y- is still very fresh, yeah, we, yeah, right? We're still working on things. And so you know? we're building your relationship and building your relationship with him. This is an opportunity for you to sort of mm-hmm. articulate, you know, your needs, desires, and, you know, all of that mm-hmm. as he's, as far as he is concerned. Mm-hmm. But, you know, speaking as a sister, I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I I would caution you again, like you know, I would just 
I think you should be rem- mindful of what conversations are for him and what conversations for you can expect to have as an entire unit. Yeah. It's, and, and, you know, that don't mean she get to come up in the house and wear your clothes and not pay rent and eat all your food up. And, like, that that is, we're not, that's not even that. <laughs> you and you have you have a right to speak on certain things but wait until and also you have a right to discuss this because maybe another option which may not be the most favorable one right now is if this is something you're truly concerned about especially living with somebody you've never met which is completely valid so maybe we reconfigure some things and maybe you all don't live together right now mm-hmm. you know um, what is going to bring you peace? What is going to bring you ease? Because it's not just about his feelings. This is about yours too. But what's going to be- bring you peace and ease that's also not going to cause disruption to them as a family, to you all as a, in a relationship? Like what are, you know, let's discuss all the options here. So I hope that's he- helpful, Lisa Turtle. Mm-hmm. Um, and please update us again. <laughs> we thank please. you for keeping us updated. But please update us again because this is this is actually very interesting, and we're curious to see how it comes out. And we hope that it works out the best for you, you know, for you all, for all parties involved. Um, we do really do send our well wishes for that. So keep us posted. Continue to send your honesty box questions to Getting Grown Podcast at gmail dot com. Please. And let's move on to our Black person self care. All right. In Black Women's Self-Care this week, my self-care was very, very simple. Very, very simple. On Saturday evening, well, I just had a very low-key weekend. I just sort of allowed myself to just sort of be here in my home. And, you know, I worked out. But I really just let myself have some time. And on Sunday night, I had a Disney Plus movie party. I watched Cruella. (gasps) How was that? It was so good. Really? Okay, good. Okay. So Cruella right. is a really it's a, it's a really interesting story and it's really well done. Like the um It's the help girl, right? Yes. Okay, okay. And it's also um I don't know, just sort of like the time the con- they did a really good job uh the ba- the Baroness and Cruella are like fashionistas and just love the fashion and it's very London and it's it's it really is all the context that you need to understand Cruella, like the Cruella I that love we that. And it really they really did a great job. It makes like start to finish. It really sets the stage. Like I kind of want to watch 101 Dalmatians now because I feel like I'll watch it differently. Have but, you watched um What's the, uh, um, what, who's my favorite? Maleficent? I have not. That's something okay. that I said. That's, that's number two on my list. Okay. Um, yes. But I literally just, you know, I mean, taking full advantage of my brand new blackout blinds in yes, my living room. Yes, we And saw. I just closed my blinds and put on my TV and my backlighting and all of that and just had like a full on movie night in my house and it that. was lit. I it love was lit. that. I don't think that's simple at all. I think it's, you know, there's many times when I want to, like, cancel stuff just so I can sit up in my house and have a movie night. I want to watch Cruella. I had no desire to watch Cruella. I keep seeing all the ads for it, and I was like, I don't want to see this pie-faced girl. No, it was good. It was really good. And because you said the... Because I enjoyed Maleficent so much, and I appreciated the backstory, I enjoyed both of them. But I, the last one, I really did. And I appreciated the backstory. And I think I love how they painted this. They're painting these pictures and, like, showing how they become these villains. Yes. Yeah, so it really watch. tells the story of Cruella in a way where it's like, you know, we see her side of, mm-hmm. of all of this. Mm-hmm. Um, which, to me, kind of colors. Like, you know, it makes me, like I said, I want to go back and watch 101 mm-hmm. Dalmatians and really sort of get into. Oh, we should talk so, about that. That would be fun. Yes. We can actually I'm, I'm, have a Disney movie night on Patreon. We can? Yes, we can. There is a oh. way. I will show you the way. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, what's your black woman? Oh, Self-care, excuse me. It's so black and so Oh, I love grown. it. We love it. I purchased myself. Are you all ready for it? 
a deep freezer. Oh, <laughs> I mean, if the Auntie mm. Olympics, yeah, man, I this is a major <laughs> event at the Auntie Olympics. I'm winning gold because where is it? You have you living in an apartment. Where do you I keep do. a deep freezer? Well, I'm going to figure that out. Oh um, my goodness gracious! But I said, um, you know, we'll we'll cross that road when we get to it. <laughs> And here are the bridges, and I'm still figuring it out, but it was oh, delivered today. Oh, I love it. I so love it. So when they came home from school, Noah was like, oh, my God, what's that? I was like, this here is a deep freezer, and you are going to be a black child who grows up in a household in which we have excess meat oh, yes. in a deep freezer, this along is- with plentiful Trader Joe's frozen snacks. This is like a rite of passage for yeah. black children. Mm-hmm. Nothing says um, I have a black. Say that you have a black mom without saying you have a black mom. It's going to retrieve things from the deep freezer. So I did. I bought one. Um, you all know that I do the most in this apartment, but I figure it out. <laughs> I was so like, find what? a corner and a this is so to throw good. on top of this and a plant. I and love that's it. What we're gonna do. So I bought myself a deep freezer, and I'm super excited about it because this Easy Bake refrigerator that they got for me in this apartment, it just infuriates me every time I think about it. Um, but it's fine because I'm not going to be here forever and I'm safe oh. and I have what I need. Period. Especially now that I have a deep freezer. All right. <laughs> so, with that being said, shall we move to these peeves of petty? We shall. 